What's going on friends? Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about console versus PC for seven days to die. So let's get into it. As most of you may know, the console version of seven days to die is years behind the PC version. With that being said, the console version is supposed to be getting a new updated version of the game for PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. And when that happens, console is going to be a contender again. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that. Before we go any farther into this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more of my 7 Days to Die content. And if you feel so inclined, go ahead and leave a super thanks. It helps me keep the channel going, lets me know that you guys support me. And other than that, let's get back in to the video. As of right now, PC is on Alpha 21 that just dropped recently with tons of new stuff to explore and figure out. The console version though is still a ton of fun is unfortunately stuck in the stone ages. PC has had tons of mods that completely changed the way the game can look, feel, and play. So that is a struggle for the console version. So let me know if that part right there makes you choose PC. Leave a comment down below. The update that comes for a console version with Alpha 22, hopefully, if it does come like they say it will, it will wedge the gap between the two. But will it? Even if the console version is the same Alpha as the PC, will it be the same? Let me know in the comments what you expect from 7 Days to Die on console with the update, or if you think it will even happen at all. The way games are played on PC is so different than console. And all the mods for PC, I really don't see console getting any of that. They say they want cross-platform play between Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. So the console version will at least have to be close, right? In conclusion, guys, in my opinion, as a console player myself, no matter what happens, I think the PC version will always be a step ahead of consoles. That's how it's always been for video games, and I don't see that stopping anytime soon, unfortunately. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video.